Guys, I think we can all agree that aside from the battle pass, so far Season 7 has been absolutely amazing. In this video, I'm going to address how response content development is looking during these times. Red alert, red alert, red alarm, red alarm. Guys, a concurrent player record for Apex Legends has been broken. I'm going to talk about that in this video and also respawn's new plans to change the Season 7 battle pass. As you probably know, the Season 7 battle pass has not been a normal one. Respawn kind of made some changes to the Season 7 battle pass. They looked kind of selfish and money hungry, but it does seem like now they're kind of making up for those mistakes. Also in the news, it does look like Airship Assassin Wraith should be making a return. So of course then I'm going to go over where the information actually came from so you know you can trust it. And also of course I'm going to go over the expected Airship Assassin skin release date. The actual background game that you guys are seeing, it's a game I had with my buddy last night. It was actually like the first time I played Mirage in like three months. But yeah, it'd be cool if you guys comment below who do you think I should main. Um, There's really two characters that I'm willing to main. It's Mirage and Bangalore. Comment below which one you want me to main. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoy this Apex Legends Season 7 news and let's get right into it. So to start this news video off, I'm going to talk about the new Battle Pass changes. Chad Greener, who is the Respawn Game Director, he tweeted this just today. In last week's Reddit AMA, I said we had more changes to the Season 7 Battle Pass plans. Starting today, we're reverting the difficulty of the daily challenges to Season 6 levels while keeping the number of stars rewarded the same. See the image below for before and after comparison. I'll throw this image up on screen for everybody to see, but effective as of right now in game, the battle pass difficulty has been dramatically decreased. Chad Grenier also tweeted out something else pretty interesting. Next week, we'll ship out a patch with two more changes. One, we're reverting the weeklies to season six difficulty levels, making it so the weekly challenges also give you an opportunity to complete them with more than one legend. And the second one is all players will be granted 10 free battle pass levels. Some people ended up getting pretty mad at respawn for how they handled the Season 7 Battle Pass. I'm not actually going to get into the nitty gritty details with that, but if you don't know about it, I'm sure you can find it somewhere else. But what I am going to get into is with the Battle Pass, there was a problem and the problem was solved. And also it seems like everyone's getting some free Battle Pass levels. So I mean, overall, it seems like there were some kind of bad changes to the Season 7 Battle Pass. I do think it was a little bit too difficult, but now it should be about as good as it can be for everybody. Alarm, alarm, a record has been broken. Apex Legends at one point today was the number four concurrently played game on Steam. For quite a long time, I would have to say season five and six, Apex Legends was kind of dead on PC. But now with the season seven Steam release, it does seem like at least my lobbies, they're so much easier to get into. There are just so many more games going on on PC right now. Though when Steam was released on PC, it was not totally flawless. The very first day that Steam was out on PC, it was giving me some sort of anti-cheat error, so I couldn't really use it. But we did get the 1.15 patch for Apex Legends just a couple days ago where it actually does seem that it fixed a couple of problems including some steam issues so i do think a reason that apex legends is still peaking on steam is because maybe they fixed some problems that a lot of people were having and everybody to wrap up this banger news video yes airship assassin wraith it may be returning so shrugtel the god apex legends leaker himself he tweeted yes airship assassin wraith should be returning during the black friday sale disclaimer always subject to change may not end up happening so so guys, what do you think about Airship Assassin Wraith finally returning? People, this is probably the rarest skin in Apex. I would have to say the most valuable one that has not been yet released. Redshift Octane has already been released, so I mean, you might as well send it. I mean, this one's being released. It kind of stinks that there won't be any, like, super nostalgic, super rare skins. Like, they're just gonna re-release all of them. But hey guys, I'm looking on the bright side, to be quite honest. I mean, people are gonna get a chance to enjoy this skin all over again. Like, you really do not see this skin anymore in Apex Legends. It's that rare. Also, maybe this will get EA a little bit more coins, so, like, maybe they'll hire more respawn developers and content will come out faster or something. But that probably won't happen. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoy this Apex Legends Season 7 news video. If you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, if you like Apex Legends, Season 7 is going to be an absolute blast here. And people, that'll be about it for me, The Alarmix, and I hope to see you in another video.